God had fulfilled the same unto us, their children. How did he fulfill it? In that he had raised up Jesus again, as it is written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Glad tidings there is the word gospel. The glad tidings. God has fulfilled. So everything he said he will do, he did by the sacrifice of Jesus and the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus' walk did not stop at the cross. Uh, the cross, uh, the cross, where I saw, first saw the light. And the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day at the cross. No, the cross was not where all the work was finished. Actually, the cross was where the work started. When he said it is finished, that was the beginning of the work. It wasn't just at the cross. Because that the cross was not enough. He went to the grave and he rose from the dead the third day. He goes to sit at the right hand of majesty on high. And there he shed forth his spirit. The fulfillment was in the shedding forth of his spirit. But of course he wouldn't have shed forth his spirit if he never was buried. If he never rose. If he never ascended. And if he never was glorified. So the shedding forth of the spirit is the climax of God's redemptive sacrifice. Is the climax of God's promise in the Old Testament to the believer in Christ. So we have, we have what we call the finished work of Christ. What he has done in being raised from the dead. Then we have the ongoing work of Christ. Finished work, ongoing, whereby his spirit, he begins to build himself into us. And he begins to make, begin to make himself alive in the whole world.